Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Awards Ceremony for Power of the Pen Online Northwest Regional Tournament, which took place on Saturday, March 20th. Though we couldn't gather at Lord's University because of the pandemic, we are grateful for their support of the young writers of Power of the Pen. Next year, we look forward to returning to our in-person tournaments and enjoying the hospitality of our Northwest Regional Coordinator and Hostess, Anna Marie Adamson. For many years, Lords University has welcomed Power of the Pen writers to its beautiful campus. Please welcome Dr. Susan Shalangowski from Lords University to share encouraging words with our young writers during these challenging times. I'm Dr. Susan Shalangowski, Chair of the English Department and Director of the Digital and Media Studies Program here at Lords University. I hope that we'll be able to host you in person next year, but I'm happy to be able to share some time with you in this virtual format. This past year has been a challenging one. I've heard lots of adjectives used to describe it, unprecedented, historical. While those words mean unique or one of a kind, they're not really neutral. And this audience of all audiences realizes that it's not just the meaning, but the context of words that's important. History is full of amazing achievements, but it's also full of hard times. And unfortunately, when we apply historical to this past year, it's more of the latter than the former. But it's precisely in historical times when writing is so important not only because history is a written record, but also because literature is our cultural imagination. History preserves the past, imagination is how we move forward. We know from the biography of great writers that experience, even of hard times, can fuel the imagination. Today is a moment when you can take the experiences of this past year and channel them into your art. With that thought in mind, it is my honor to welcome you to this year's Power of the Pen. I hope you will make the most of your opportunity today to make sense of the past and imagine the future. As a nonprofit organization, Power of the Pen depends on generous sponsors to provide funds to operate and staff tournaments and create learning materials such as the Book of Winners for Young Writers. We are grateful to Block Communications for their ongoing commitment to Power of the Pen and the Erie County Community Foundation for also sponsoring this year's regional tournament and recognizing the importance of creative writing. We also thank the coaches who made the tournament possible. Under your guidance, these young writers have blossomed throughout the season. You saw past obstacles surrounding the pandemic and embraced the challenges of guiding your young writers and developing competitive teams. Each of your writers benefited from your commitment to the creative process. Soon, your writers will look back at their writing from the beginning of the school year and see just how much they've grown as writers thanks to your diligence. Judges, thank you for the time and effort you have invested to make sure that every participating writer in this tournament receives support and encouragement, as well as ideas for ways to strengthen their writing. Writers, we are so proud of you for qualifying for the regional tournament. You are among the best and most dedicated writers in the state of Ohio. Tournament judges and Power of the Pen staff are always thrilled to read your unique responses to the prompts. Through your writing, you are connecting with readers and helping them to know that they're not alone with life struggles and celebrations. You've helped them see situations from new perspectives, taken them on thrilling adventures, or made them laugh. Everyone who reads your writing is changed in some way by what you have to say. Friends and family, thank you so much for joining this virtual awards ceremony today and for supporting young writers. 26 schools participated in the Northwest Regional Tournament with 68 students writing in the seventh grade and 77 students writing in the eighth grade. Our Northwest Regional Tournament welcomed the following schools. Anna Middle School, Arbor Hills Junior High School, Arcadia Middle School, Coldwater Middle School, Edison Middle School, Fairlawn Local Schools, Fort Loramie Junior High School, Houston High School, Kenton Middle School, Liberty Arts Magnet School, McCord Junior High School, Napoleon Junior High School, 
New Bremen Middle School. Ottawa Hills Junior High School. Perkins Briar Middle School. Perrysburg Junior High School. Springfield Middle School. St. Joan of Arc School. St. Mary's Middle School. Tiffin Middle School. Timberstone Middle School. Toledo School for the Arts. Upper Sandusky Middle School. Van Buren Middle School. Wapakoneta High School. And Woodmore Middle School. Before we begin the awards, here's a quick overview of how online regional tournaments work. The online regional tournament features three 40-minute rounds. In each round, students write a piece based on a prompt that's made available to them when they begin the round. With virtual tournaments, student writing is emailed to judges who read and score the stories with ranked points from one to six, with one being the best, as well as quality points from 75 to 100. The top 12 writers in each grade level are honored with awards. The writers in fourth through 12th place will receive a medallion. The third place winner at each grade level will receive a bronze medal. The second place winner, a silver medal. And the first place winner, a gold medal. The Northwest Regional seventh grade individual winners are in 12th place from Perrysburg Junior High School, Logan Yaniglos. In 11th place from McCore Junior High School, Lillian Duran. In 10th place from Perkins Briar Middle School, Brianne Booker. In 9th place from Anna Middle School, Nora Aiken. In eighth place from Anna Middle School, Valerie York. In seventh place from Anna Middle School, Ben Garrett. In sixth place from Tiffin Middle School, Elise Johnston. In fifth place from Edison Middle School, Mary Moon. In fourth place from Perrysburg Junior High School, Sophia Holm. In third place, from Van Buren Middle School, Maddie Hudock. Our seventh grade champion and runner-up writer tied with 295 rank points. Nine quality points separated the two writers. In second place, from the Toledo School for the Arts, Layla Bird. Congratulations to the Northwest Region seventh grade individual champion, Annalise Rogers, from Perkins Middle School. Congratulations to these outstanding seventh grade writers. The Northwest Regional eighth grade individual winners are in 12th place from Wapakoneta Middle School, Riley Zeligowski. In 11th place from Arbor Hills Junior High School, Elizabeth Thomas. In 10th place from the Toledo School for the Arts, Mira Bridgman. In ninth place, from Napoleon Junior High School, Avery Miller. In eighth place, from Wapakoneta High School, Julian Jordan. In seventh place, from Edison Middle School, Lily Fisher. In sixth place, from New Bremen Middle School, Chloe Montford. In fifth place, from Edison Middle School, Elena Keegan. In fourth place, from Perrysburg Junior High School, Jocelyn Ward. And in third place from Perrysburg Junior High School, Margaret Cox. Our eighth grade champion and runner-up writer tied with perfect rank points. Only two quality points separated the two writers. In second place from Tiffin Middle School, Juliana Howdenshield. Congratulations to the Northwest Region eighth grade individual champion, Charlie Quick from McCord Junior High School. Congratulations again to these talented eighth grade authors. Students who placed in the top 12 qualify for the online state tournament, which will take place on May 15, 2021 with virtual host Otterbein University. In addition, at least the top 20% of the writers from the regional tournament 
will also qualify for the online state tournament. We'll notify each school of its state qualifiers within a few days after this awards ceremony. The number one stories from each round were reviewed by a committee to select the highest quality individual writing in each round to receive the best of round awards. Best of round award winners also qualify for the state tournament. Seventh grade best of round winners are in round one, The Message by Layla Bird, Toledo School for the Arts coach, Anna Marie Adamson. In round two, The Quest of Aries by Nina Clark, Ottawa Hills Junior High School coach, Karen Fisher. And in round three, Stealing the Princess by Nina Clark, Ottawa Hills Junior High School coach, Karen Fisher. Eighth grade best of round winners are in round one, I Wasn't Chosen by Jocelyn Ward, Perrysburg Junior High School coach, Jamie Avery. In round two, Without Him by Emily Eink, New Bremen Middle School coach, Polly Rogers. And in round three, Life and Death by Charlie Quick, McCord Junior High School coach, Diane Long. Director's Choice Awards are given to writing that, while not selected for best of round, deserve special recognition. These writers also qualify for regional. In round three, for Everywhere But Here by Jocelyn Ward, Perrysburg Junior High School, coach Jamie Avery. All of the best of round writing from district tournaments across the state was read again by a committee to choose the winners of one of Power of the Pen's highest honors, the Platinum Pen Award. Platinum Pen Award winners represent the best of student writing from the district tournaments and are eligible for publication in the Book of Winners. These students' writings will serve as a model for young writers throughout Ohio. As long as they've participated in the regional tournament, Platinum Pen Award winners also qualify for the state tournament. Each Platinum Pen Award honoree will receive a certificate and instructions on how to submit their photo for the Book of Winners. The link for submitting photos is located on the Power of the Pen homepage. Please, Join me in congratulating the Platinum Pen winners. Nervous Beauty, written by Annalise Rogers from Perkins Briar Middle School, coach Mary Dar. The Roots of My Trust Issues, written by Nina Clark, Ottawa Hills, coach Karen Fisher. Lost in My Creations, written by Eden Foster, Arbor Hills Junior High School, coach Karen Francis. And The Trouble with Her, written by Sophia Holt, Arcadia Middle School coach, Carly Seary. Next up are the team awards. Overall awards are given to schools for first, second, and third place. Each team will receive a plaque to display at their school. Congratulations to our winning seventh grade teams. In third place, Anna Middle School coached by Missy Rivera. In second place, Timberstone Middle School, coached by Sarah Nelson. And our Northwest Regional 7th grade champion team is Kenton Middle School, coached by Tina Hiller. Congratulations to our winning 8th grade teams. In third place, Toledo School for the Arts, coached by Mark Allred. In second place, Perrysburg Junior High School, coached by Jamie Avery. And our 2021 Northwest Regional 8th grade champion team is Edison Middle School, coached by Amy Earhart. Congratulations to our winning schools and to every student writer who wrote in the tournament. Now, before we announce the winning sweepstakes teams, I have a few reminders. Schools will be notified by email of their individual results, including state qualifiers and will email student writing and ballots. Coaches, check your email for this important information. Please be patient with receiving the awards. Northwest arrangements will be made with coaches to pick up the awards, so it may take some time for individual students to receive their medals or medallions. Details regarding the state tournament will be sent separately as soon as they are finalized with state registration planned to open Monday, April 5th. 
Check out our social media for news about Power of the Pen. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And consider giving to Power of the Pen through Amazon Smile. Remember, we would love to hear from coaches, students, and parents about the impact Power of the Pen has had on their lives. We'd love for you to send us photos of students practicing, whether in their homes, at school, or in a virtual setting. Use the testimonial form in the right-hand column of the homepage of powerofthepen.org to submit your photos. And now, for the Regional Sweepstakes Award. For this honor, 7th and 8th grade team points are compiled from the district and regional events to determine the regional champion. The Sweepstakes Trophy is awarded to the winning team to display at their school until next year's regional tournament. The Northwest Regional Sweepstakes Trophy from 2019 is currently held by Edison Middle School and Coach Colleen Hansen. Before announcing the winner, let's celebrate the top teams. In fourth place, from Kenton, Ohio, coached by Tina Hiller, Kenton Middle School. In third place from Berlin Heights, Ohio, coached by Amy Earnhardt, Edison Middle School. In second place from Sylvania, Ohio, coached by Diane Long, McCord Junior High School. And now the 2021 Northwest Regional Sweepstakes Champion. From Perrysburg, Ohio, coached by Allison Littell and Jamie Avery, Perrysburg Junior High School. Once again, Thank you to our generous Northwest Regional Sponsors, Block Communications, and the Erie Community Foundation, along with our virtual host, Lords University. Congratulations to our winning teams and coaches, as well as all of the tournament's young riders. We look forward to seeing the riding from many of you at the state tournament with virtual host, Otterbein University, on May 15th. In the meantime, Stay safe and keep telling your stories.